On this episode of Recorded History, I'm going to talk about a song called Gamma Hydra from our album Shadowlands. Um, I'm doing this because I had to make stems of this song for a special thing we're putting together. So I figured I'd talk about it. It's actually one of my favorite of the later era Moss Generator songs. It's very odd. It's a very odd song. Um, a lot of it comes from King Crimson, I would say, and me being, it sounds like something I would have written when I was 19 or 20. It has a, a, a lot of the, the, those kind of isms. And uh, it, it was originally recorded on four track for a split single with Year of the Cobra that came out on H42. Uh, and both of us did four track recordings for, for that seven inch. I went over and recorded Year of the Cobra in Seattle on my task am for the other side of the record. Um, so when we got to doing this version that ended up on the record, there's actually elements of the four track recording that still exist. We just used that four track master and re-recorded certain parts of it. I believe the drums are re-recorded and the bass is re-recorded, but there's elements of the rhythm guitar and the lead guitar that still exist the, and these were recorded live. Uh, and then I did some additional guitar overdubs. And the Mellotron that was recorded on four track as an overdub is from, the, from that original four track tape. And so are some of the vocals. I doubled the vocals for the, for the Shadowlands version. Um, and so this, the first vocal is the real four track vocal. And the the double is from an uh, overdub later. Um, when we did the original four track recording, we, we, uh, did the drums and mono through, uh, uh, an old PA head. So they'd get that kind of distorted, semi distorted drum sound, like on the King Crimson earthbound live album. Not, not that, it, not as intense as that, but it kind of has that quality. And then of course a bass, a live bass and a live guitar, and then track four was vocals uh, with the Mellotron on the same track in the middle section. So I'm going to open. This is one of the uh, one of the rare times where I actually apply a, an effect to the recording, and this was also very weird. I believe I was using a Guild S100 through uh, a Guild Thunder bass head. So I got this really weird guitar sound, and I'm using a 70s MXR, super noisy MXR uh, delay. One of the green ones that you had to plug, the, the, the plug-in was built right into the effect. So I get a, a, what I consider a really cool guitar sound that reminds me of uh, Sailor's Tale from the King Crimson Islands record. This key change is a trip when it goes comes in. I walk beside the hydra, the world becomes a liar, the water becomes fire, and I don't know my enemies anymore. Science can be Those drums are re overdubbed on top of the ones already done in this room up here. I use a little bit of the I put a drum mic out in the living room to give some ambience. It's a really, really weird song. We've never played it live. I don't, I, I don't even know if I could. Some Tron. Nice press roll.
This is a strings horns mix. I've got the Mellotron in between tracks. I have, you know, you have three sounds on a Mellotron and you can put the tape head, you can in between the the tracks on the tape and get two sounds at once. Yeah, that's a little interesting tidbit that's on the on this. You can't really hear it on the record, on the, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I mixed it down a little too far on the album. I wish I would have brought it out a little bit. And then that goes into a, an original guitar right there, switches back to the live guitar for the solo. Yeah, really weird solo too. Cool guitar sound though. That Thunder bass has a really neat sound for guitars. I, I, it, it made me play like better like this to have that weird guitar sound. It's defying, blockading a memory bits. I only see science. The world is ruled by science. The world is ruled by science. Not fiction, all response to eternal void. When we agreed to do the seven inch, we wrote it uh, kind of right there in the jam room. We went in, set up the four track, and started just riffing. And, and I would say within two hours of maybe three hours of, of getting together, starting from zero, we had this, this, it was a little bit longer. I had to do a, a little bit of editing, but other than that, we had this, this arrangement from, from zero to this in a, in a few hours. And, uh, it seemed to be a very natural song for me to write. Like I said, it really sounds like me when I was young. And also, you know, when I listen to this, and I, I believe that it really is a stepping stone to what's going to come on the next Moss record. We're, we're going to continue this kind of progressive rock thing, or an odd, odd music, I guess, uh, based on heavy rock, but also using progressive tendencies inside those. But, uh, and I think the, yeah, the bass was probably a DI. I'm going to go to the bass. It was, ran through the, through a Risen guitar amp for that cool distorted sound. We had to redo the bass because I, we, we used this odd cabinet that it was a 610 Sun when we did the four track demo and I wasn't really, I tried to mic it outside the cab instead of taking the screen off and getting right up on one of those speakers and it was just wasn't the right sound. Although he played it really well in the live setting, uh, this, the tone just wasn't happening for me and so I had to have him redo it unfortunately. And, and Jono's performance was great, too. I just don't, I always felt like I couldn't put a four-track recording up against some of the other songs that were on the record because the, the sound quality would change dr drastically. Even though I thought the original 7-inch mix was super cool, it, I, I didn't have the balls to put it up against other studio recordings of, of, that were on Shadowlands. But I think everybody and I and I wanted to keep certain elements because I really liked the original my original guitar tracks. So luckily, you know, Jonna was able to play over his original drum tracks, and then Booth followed, and then the other things were were added to and fixed. But that's that for Gamma Hydra. <laughs> 